Hello my loves, welcome back and hey to everybody that is new as well. So my name is Ali, this is Baby Hunter. Um, I am currently on maternity leave, hence why Hunter is showing up in all our videos at this moment in time. Um, just getting him to see YouTube, see what's going on and say hi to you all. Um, Cause you was all there throughout my pregnancy and now we're out the other side. Um, so I am coming back to work in August. I'm still doing one day a month at the moment. Um, I'm fully booked for May, though I will do email readings in May, but I have some spaces available left for June. So if you would like a reading before I return back to work in August, I have very limited spaces um, for June still available. Then there'll be July and then come August, I'm back full-time rocking and rolling. Um, sorting out childcare, gonna have a office, well, a studio put in my mum and dad's house um, and a studio, this studio here. So I'll be working between the two homes um, so you won't know whose house you're going to get the videos in. Um, but yeah, so a couple of spaces left available for June. Um, and this little one gets to spend lots of time with his grandparents. So that is what I just love. I love family time. I think it's super, super important. So... Um, Last week, I did not do an update because I was raring with tonsillitis. Oh my God, like this gland is still swollen. I don't think you can see it, but it went like out like this and I had loads of white spots all in my throat. Um, and I was super, super, super poorly. So I caved um, and, I, and I called me mum and dad. <laughs> My proper mum's girl called me mum and dad I was like I need some help I can't do it so uh, we went and spent a couple of nights around there and that's why um I wasn't giving you an update last week um Hunter was fine you know I think he gave it to me he had a cold um but the doctor said when I went round, the doctor was like, it's really unlikely that he'll get tonsillitis. So unfortunately, it just landed on me. Um, other news, total blessed Beltane to you all. Oh my God, wasn't it amazing energy? I hope you're out decorating all your trees. Um, it was really rainy in England and so no fires for us this end, but um, we didn't light a fire this year, but I did decorate the tree. Um, beautiful, I love Beltane. Start of, start of the summer, pagan summer, so that's fabulous. Yeah isn't it? Um, what else happened? Uh, there was something else I was about to tell you. I don't think he, what else did I, no, just Beltane. Yeah, I think that was it with Beltane. Um, okay guys, so enjoy the video this week. Um, I'll be back next week. If you want a space for June, let me know. Like I said, spaces, I think I've got a couple of spaces left for June um, and they do pick up really, really fast. So if you want one, uh, please get in touch now. Um, I have 15 minutes and I have half an hour. I will also be doing email readings on those days. So in the May reading day and the June reading day, I will do be, be doing email readings as well. Um, also, that's the other thing, Witch Fest coming up on 28th of May. I don't know if any of you are going. It's around the corner from my house, so I will definitely be there. Um, so come say hi if you do go. Um, all right, guys, I love you all to pieces. I miss you all so much. I cannot wait to be back rocking and rolling with you full time in August. Uh, but in the meantime, if you need me give me a shout love you ciao hello my loves and welcome back i hope that you're okay and that you had a really blessed week so this week what we're going to be doing is will they ever come back to you and we are going into the baba studios tarot dice these are absolutely beautiful so i have the mythical creatures tarot which i've used many a time before but this is my brand new one so good for romance readings victorian romance tarot just absolutely love the box um so these are the two decks that we are going to be using today and we're going to be looking at will they ever return to you so this is the ones for all you guys are a little bit hurt at the moment that are struggling that are worried that your person is never going to speak to you again that they've vanished into the sunset and um, all of that energy as always works on the strongest energy between you all deck number one deck number two pick the deck you are drawn to and as you get drawn to that deck, think about your person. And as you think about your person, push the energy into the deck. And if you can't physically push it in because you can't work it out, just visualise a colour. Um, probably at the moment quite a dark red for a lot of you as, as the pain come, coming through. So deck number one and deck number two. Work with a heart chakra energy, but it is a, it's a heavier a heavier red spirit showing me really clearly. And um, so we've got quite a lot of pain happening. Okay, deck number one. So, as I said, it works on the strongest energy between you all. Uh, kind of how we worked out the average of mass at school. It goes into all your energies, um, all your people's energy and pulls out the strongest bond between you all. Okay, think about your person. One of my best mates who made me for this because... Uh, it's like, no, Baba Studios, you can't bridge the Baba. But 
I still bridge the barber. Okay, <laughs> right, think about them. Let's go. I just need my guide is saying have two more shuffles. Okay. So I'm getting a bit of a mix up of songs coming into my energy first and foremost. So those of you that are new to the channel, I am Claire Audience, which means I hear spirit um, and I hear them as if me and you are communicating and, and are talking. Um, and they often give us quite a lot of songs. Um, and it works kind of a bit like a radio dial with songs. So you can hear the songs kind of tuning in as if you're tuning into a radio frequency. Um, so the ones that I'm getting is quite heavy, to be fair. So I'm just going to... The first one, I don't know what it is, but it was like, um, it's really old. Um, and it says, now the time is here. And then I'm also getting... Um, we're really going into old stuff. stuff. I'll see you again, don't know where, don't know when, but I know we'll meet again some sunny day. So tell me, will they ever come back to those watching my beautiful new cards? Will they ever come back? One. They're so, they, they are just so beautiful, look. Look at them. I don't think you can see the golded edging on it, or you can a little bit. Um, They are the beautiful day. First time I'm using them for you. Oh, will they ever come back to those? Watching deck number one. Oh, interesting. Four. This one. These two, sorry. Um, yeah, that's where we're stopping. That's where Spirit are stopping me. Okay, we're stopping on six cards. Right, where are we going with this? There is a bunch of mix-up energy happening with deck number one. So perhaps you're all at different stages of breakups or things ending or people going ghost. Whatever your individual circumstances are, we've got a bit of a mix-up of energy. So some of you guys' circumstances have dictated why the situation has ended up where it has. Some of you guys, there has been a third party influence. You will know about that, okay? So if you're like, I don't know who the third party is, that's because I'm not talking to you. Third parties can be people. They can be lovers. Um, they can also be parents, interfering mothers. Um, they can be situations such as alcohol, drugs, partying, escapism behaviour. There is an influence of something else happening within these cards for you guys. Um, and this is partly where the energy is coming forward. So a lot of you guys, circumstances wise, whatever your individual circumstances is, has played a massive part in this situation going the way it has and it has hit a bit of a stalemate a bit of a a bit of a silence a bit of a um what's the word radio silence you know it's it's got to this point that it's got a little bit stagnated and a little bit stuck and there is this bit of uncertainty that comes from this that comes from the cards because you guys really don't know where it's going really don't know where it's heading um your person kind of always thought and you always thought that you would be entwined in and out of each other's lives or in each other's lives for a long time. Um, and now this kind of radio silence is happening between you guys. There is this fear and there is this doubt and there is this panic. Um, but if we're looking at the songs that were said at the start, I'll see you again, don't know where, don't know when. And I'm sure that's a wartime song because it really reminds me of my grandma. Um, but I know we'll meet again some sunny day. It does show that at the moment, at this moment in time, you're kind of on these separate pathways, but there will be a linking back of your energies um, with a connection like you and your person, the connection that you have, this deep, deep bond. Um, it's kind of impossible to break away from. And I know a lot of you um, who've been here for many, many years now with me have said um, we spoke about a, a, a helix, okay? So like a twin flame helix, as I call them. Um, and it's embedded into the DNA when you come down, talking really spiritually for a second, embedded into your DNA as you come down to earth and you live your twin soul life. So what happens is you often waver in and out of each other's lives and you do this kind of funky dance move um, of the connection. So you might be like this at the moment with your person. It is a more divine connection, but the energy wavers back round to another. So your paths will cross again. Your paths will cross again. Um, and it is, it's the connection type that the two of you share. So circumstances pulling this in this kind of direction that it's gone, um, but having a bit of a breather from the situation, having a bit of downtime from it um, will help, you know, 
the dawn arise and with that I just got Florence in the machine it's always darkest before the dawn so when you're feeling heavy and very low and, and the energy feels a bit heavy around you there is that the breaking of the channel breaking of that cycle now your person is still watching you on social media um if you haven't got social media it could be whatsapp it's internet based um so instagram facebook whatsapp just having a bit of a stalky stalk, um, seeing what you are up to, definite communicating, watching what's happening. They want to keep tabs on you. So even if you feel that they've gone the distance and vanished into the sunset, um, they are still keeping tabs on you. They are still watching you. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if they're on your social media scene when you're actually online because they like to feel that closeness. They like to feel that bond with you. Um, and this is where this connection comes forward, you know, this helix energy. Um, they can let you wander so far, but they still want to keep you in touch, in, in reach. Um, so if they see you on social media, they can actually feel that closeness with you, especially if you've had a really heavy breakup um, and they're really missing you, that just seeing your name and saying active now or whatever it says, it brings the energy back towards you and that, that bond and connection moves forward. So where it's going and the reconnection with you guys you've got temperance now temperance to me is always a kind of not yet and this is where that song comes in at the start again we'll meet again don't know where don't know when this is where the temperance card would stick into your energy okay in me this situation needs a little bit of time i know time time is uh what's well, the biggest spiritual lesson that everyone will, will always say to you which really winds me up patience you know, I hate it when people say be patient because when you're involved in situations, it can be very difficult to find that level of patience. However, with temperance over here, this is suggesting do just give it a little bit of time. The energy needs to balance out. And it's often a balance of your yin and your yang energies, the duality, the light and dark, the good and bad, the right and wrong, the male, the female. So balancing of your energies out is where the temperance card comes in. So if things have, weren't going over your fate, sorry, weren't going in your favour over here, the temperance card helps balance the energies out back into your favour, okay? And when it goes back into your favour, over here we have the Ace of Pentacles and we also have Judgment. So this girl over here with her Ace of Pentacles, Ace of Pentacles symbolising a new beginning, a much more stable beginning, she's holding chamomile. Now, I don't know how much of you love chamomile, how much of you hate chamomile, but chamomile is extremely good for manifestation. Extremely good for manifestation. And if you want more information on manifesting, um, go on to, I, I did a manifestation uh, thing right at the start when I started the channel. You can find out information on that if you go on to Just For You, I think it is on the playlist and it says manifesting. And um, I also do manifesting plans. So if you're interested, let me know. Um, so the chamomile that she's carrying is the manifestation of your energies things coming into fruition for you okay and with judgment standing over here this is the resurrection of your connection so a new beginning that's being manifested for the res uh, for your relationship to resurrect so overall will you meet again will your paths, paths cross will they ever come back to you yes they will and in actual fact with this amount of social media kind of stalking that's going on they haven't actually gone that far they're still there they're still on your tail spirit are saying um it's just at the moment they can't see the wood through the trees so with that bit of time the wood will get seen they'll be able to see a pathway and they will progress that forward and waver back towards you many many blessings to you all my loves and i will speak to you soon drop me a message if you need me ciao Okay guys, deck number two, if you just tapped in, tuned in, turned on, these are the Baba Studios tarot decks and um, they are beautiful, <laughs> they are beautiful card decks. So what we're doing today is will your person ever come back to you? Uh, so this is a relationship reading for those of you that are struggling um, and wondering will your person return. Um, as always it works in the strongest mutual energy for you. Can you just think about your person for me? So we're looking at their choices, their chances and their changes that they will create for you and likewise for you guys as well. What choices will you make? What chances are coming up and what changes will create a future with you both? So let's go can you tell me please will they ever come back to those watching let's go ah straight away we have the three of cups so that's a great great start for those of you that read tarot um this is a celebration a success a party a yay for me it's all worked out in my favor so it's a really good start will they ever come back to those watching 
We're then followed by the Knight of Wands, which again signifies a yes, it signifies movement. We then have Justice. Okay. Will they ever come back? Right, that'll do. That'll do, that'll do, that'll do. Do -ba -do, do -ba -do. Let me just get one more actually for the overall outcome. Right, okay, here we go. Here we go, here we go, here we go. So right off the bat, the overall energy is a yes. They, there is a returning of your person to you with the Three of Cups, okay? So right off the bat, the cards are answering that. However, the situation is a little bit more complicated between you guys. Your person has got to have a bit of a wake-up call over the connection with you. They kind of, I don't want to say took you for granted, but potentially they took you for granted a little bit. They didn't treat you in the way that is how you deserve to be treated you deserved a lot more than what they were giving you and um, there was not much movement happening here there was not much really going on and you guys largely got to the end of your wick with it meaning you got really pissed off you got fed up and, and you were like right I don't know whether this is something that I actually want to pursue anymore you kept on going the person probably wasn't giving you the commitment that you wanted and it's just all come to a little bit of a <laughs> an explosion some of you guys have had towers big towers little towers uh, whatever the towers have hit tower being everything falling around you are now in a situation where you are feeling very very stuck and unsure what to do your person is actually in the same energy okay so you are mirroring one another here mirroring that energy mirroring the same Feeling same emotions, same heaviness, same sadness, your person is actually feeling it as well. There is a sense of loss, there is a sense of grief, and there is a sense of where do we go from here? And um, that's a song as well. Where do we go from here? This isn't where we intended to be. That was from a uh, musical, Evita. That was from Evita. Where do we go from here? Um, I think Lana Del Rey did a version of it, which is a lot, well, it depends if you're into musicals or not. Um, I think the song is called You Must Love Me. So there is a very strong emotions here, a very strong energy and a very strong love connection, but it's stuck. You don't really know where it's going, what's happening. But what you do know is that there is a very strong love between you guys. Just your person hasn't given you the commitment that you want. So it's all gone peaked on and you are stuck. Where are we going? What's going to happen with them returning to you? Your person is going to be having a few tower moments. So at this point in time, wherever you are with your journey, with your person, it's going to take a little bit of time and then these tower moments are going to hit. The tower, Spirit saying, is very mental based with this deck. Okay, for deck number two, the towers are going to be more in the mind for your person. So they're going to miss you, they're going to long for you, they're going to crave you, they're going to want your energy around them and they're going to have this kind of mental um, mind pain, if that makes sense. Very much working with the logical side of things rather than the emotional side of things. They will feel it in their heart, but their head will be the thing that is driving them back towards you. I hope that makes sense to you. So where it's been a bit stuck and stagnant, again, looking at the energies over here of the hanged man and tower, major situations going on, major situations, but it's going to collapse for them to come back towards you. And this is where the Knight of Wands comes into play. So where it's been a bit stuck and stagnant, these towers will happen in your person's mind. Some some guy, uh, some of them will have more physical situations that happen around them. But again, Spirit is saying a lot of it will be mental clarity that comes to these towers. So you can have a wake up call in their mind. What's the saying? Wake up, smell the coffee. That energy. And with the Knight of Wands over here, this is their movement back to you. So the Knight of Wands stepping into play. They're coming towards you. They're getting in touch with you. It might not quite be the communication that you're hoping for or after. You guys are probably looking for something that has a lot more romance, a lot more emotional connection. Your person is going to be a bit of a fly off the wall. They're not going to be giving you that depth that you uh, are looking for when they do reconnect back up with you. Um, so they might come in a little bit more sassy, a little bit more sexy, a little bit more, oh, I'm the one that's in control of this, this power energy moving forward. Um and making those moves towards you. But what will happen will be this break in um, the lack of the standstill that's been going on with you guys. That break will happen through their movement towards you. Will they commit? Now, it doesn't look as if your person is going to have a massive circumstance changing in how they've handled the situation. In fact, let's pull some more court cards on that. So will their person give them the commitment that they want on their return? Okay. 
yeah so when we're looking at will they give you the commitment on their return okay so we have the world and we have the six of cups so what this is saying over here is there is a coming together based on past memories and with the three of swords which was staring at me from the top of the deck you have got heartbreak okay so through the heartbreak of the past there will be a coming together and a joining together we also have the king of cups at the very very top over here um sorry the king of pentacles so your person in a much more stable position um they are still going to be the ones that are in control of this they are still going to be the ones that are calling the shots so it's really really important with justice flagging up over here that you don't settle for less than what you want less than you deserve okay stick with your guns stick with your energy stay in your power you are the ones that are in control let the towers fall okay let them fall let your person miss you let them crave you let them want that energy and that will give them a bigger boost in coming to commit to you your king of pentacles over here does show a stable uh, a stable person never sexually orientated or gender specific on this, on this channel with the kings it works with a kind of more masculine energy which will be your person okay so there is that stable secure energy coming up over here um, and a breaking in the cycle the towers have got to fall things have got to fall around your person they have got to miss you and through missing you is when they will make these moves back towards you in order to commit is it a full-on they will commit to you there is potential over here they aren't going to, to massively change the ways if you're looking for a brand new person it's unlikely that it's going to be the person that you're asking about at the moment and um, they won't unfortunately have a personality transplant they're probably going to stick to their guns but they do miss you and they will come back to you so when we're asking will they return the answer is yes they will um will it be the outcome that you want again very individually based uh, situation however you've got potential that it can happen it's just that lepers don't change their spots spirit saying it really really clearly um whether we're looking at that song that said you must love me and it's not where you intended to be it's focusing very much on the love that the two of you share so even though you aren't quite where you wanted to be with this relationship you do have a very strong love that is holding you both in place and that my loves is deck number two they'll come back um let the towers fall i just heard really clearly let the towers fall the edge <laughs> all right guys that's deck number two many many blessings your way i love you all to pieces and i'll speak to you soon ciao